Hello you beautiful souls, welcome here. Today we've got a love reading and in this one we are going to look at whether your connection with your person is more so based on lust or love or both, which would be the best scenario, I guess. I've got three piles of cards for you to choose from. I will insert the picture of the piles in a second. As always, please take your time, listen to intuition and then choose a pile that attracts you the most. Mm -hmm. Let's go. Hello my beautiful pile number one or everybody who chose this agate heart. Let's see, is it lust or love? And we've got the eight of cups, service, six of cups, money, Five of Cups, House, <laughs> okay, you guys, I do feel like this connection triggers you emotionally very much, triggers your heart very much, and it's interesting, I'm sure there is physical attraction here, but we are not being shown any, no wands energy at all, not even swords or pentacles, it's all cups. It's all emotions, it's all feelings, it's all uh, fears being triggered, it's all loneliness, it's maybe frustration at times, um, incredible love and kindness. You guys, I apologize for Pichinka trying to um, insert her opinion <laughs> into your reading. She's a little bit talkative today. So, yeah, emotional connection, very much so. I'm, I don't want to say just yet. You guys, I'm so sorry I had to have a talk with Pichinka to make sure we can continue. But I feel like I cannot call this connection just lust yet. Because if it was just lust, it wouldn't trigger you so much emotionally. It wouldn't cause you so much yeah, I do see you both being very emotionally involved in this, especially you, the person who is watching this. Because, again, I feel like you have left this connection at some point, or got uh, really disappointed in it, or just felt like there is no point of investing into this. But left with a heavy heart, with a heavy heart. And again, if it was just love, if it was just physical connection, I believe it would be much easier for you to move on or to let go or to just distract yourself by someone else, something else, other aspect of your life. There's this feeling that you've been investing a lot of your time, a lot of your energy, a lot of your attention, love, emotions into this. And you got really, really attached emotionally. And you guys, having the Six of Cups right in the middle of your spread talks about very heart-to-heart -heart connection, soul-to-soul -soul connection, not just body-to-body, -body, you know? But also, there is this underlying feeling, which is, I cannot uh, uh, align it <laughs> with only lust or love because it's more practical. I feel like the difficulties in, in this connection are more practical, are more things of everyday life, of routines of our life, of responsibilities, money possibly, finances, living situations. <laughs> I apologize, you guys. Pichinka is just so hyper this morning. And yeah, there's this feeling that maybe the place where you are not aligning, where you are not uh, seeing eye to eye, or you are you're not on the same page is practicalities of life, responsibilities, finances, the way you see the future. I feel like the feelings are good, emotions are, are good. You understand each other, you are very similar in the way you express your love, possibly with your love languages are very similar. and. Uh, you guys, I'm so sorry, but she distracted me again for a second. 
I will continue. I feel like at this time in your connection, there's definitely this um, bonding, emotional bonding. You both feel this emotional connection. You bo both feel, um, even, even if you're apart, even if nothing is happening in this connection, you're not communicating. I feel like both of you are still, uh, you still have a soft spot for each other, in each other's hearts. Like still, there's this tenderness, there's this um, wanting the best for another person, wanting the best for them. And even if down the line, a few years in the future you met, I feel like you would still feel as though you are best friends, as though you can share your secrets, you can um, experience this emotional attunement to each other. And again, it's not about fiery chemistry, extreme passion and just uh, total infatuation. I'm not seeing it just yet. We've got the oracle cards to look at, but for now it feels like a very emotional situation, very emotional connection, heart to heart, soul to soul, and uh, very deep understanding. Like I've known you for years, um, finishing each other's sentences kind of thing, um, being able to tell what the other person is thinking, is feeling just by looking at them, looking into their eyes. Very attuned, very connected emotionally. And I do feel like if this connection didn't work out in the past for you, if you had to walk away, it was painful. It was painful. It's not just, uh, okay, I'm free now. Single is a bringo. Let's go. This Eight of Cups is like, oh, this one hurts. This one hurts. Didn't want to, almost like I didn't want to go until the last moment, I, until I just couldn't stay anymore, until I was miserable for some reason. <coughs> You guys, she keeps talking to you. I have no idea why. Usually she's quiet. But again, even if things completely stopped, if you're in a separation, if you broke up, if you walked away from this connection, I do see that there is still kindness. There is no hatred or like resentment or mm, accusing each other, blaming each other for something with the Six of Cups in the middle of your reading. It's just there is still softness, there is still kindness. You both valued what you had, for sure, emotionally, especially the emotional component of this connection. Even if in 3D it was a disaster, uh, nothing was going to plan, if things were difficult, heavy, maybe you couldn't see eye to eye about maybe living situation, about money, about like the balance between work, career and love life. This could be the problems I feel in this connection, rather the emotional um, component of it. Because again, there is this feeling of loss. We've got this Five of Cups and House. This, the, this feeling of we could be, we could build a home together. We could build a family together. We could have the security, the stability. Maybe some of you really did already on some level. Uh, build a committed relationship with this person, a stable foundation for the two of you to continue building. But something didn't go right. And again, I feel like it's life. Life got in the way. More so than feelings going away or feelings turning sour or there's this anger or unhealthy patterns. Again, emotional loss. loss the sense of I, I lost something very valuable. I lost something that I could build on. The real deal that I could have for somebody. Like family, marriage possibly with this house yeah the loss it's more so it's it's more painful when you feel that we can work with this you feel that we can build on this we've got the first the main level of this building of the structure we've got it now it's just um consistent attention and investing our energy into this I hope you know what I mean. I want to look at the bottom of your deck, you guys, to see the background story here. We've got the star. Yeah, you guys, this is not only lust, for sure. For me, the star energy is unconditional love and the energy of unconditional love because it's related to the Aquarius energy or Uranus energy. And Aquarius, 
loves people as a whole, regardless of whether they are poor, rich, ugly, beautiful, handsome, um, successful, whatever it is, uh, just unconditionally loving the soul of somebody, that's the star energy for me, loving the essence of somebody, loving their, almost what they represent, the dream that they that you connect to them, the hope, the future, the vision of the future, that picture of the future that you connect to them. That's the star. That's the love that is born with this energy. Hmm. And maybe you both have been planning or dreaming about something in the future for the two of you, like a big dream, big goal. I do feel like it's somehow related to a stable structure of some sort. Again, family, having a home together, moving in possibly like the real solid mm, moves <laughs> i should say just something real not hanging out every friday hooking up you know you know let's look at your oracle cards you guys oh my gosh wow so the first card we've got here is milk and honey <laughs> which is all about, very similar to the Six of Cups actually, it's a very childlike energy, which is about basking in this pleasure, in the sweetness, uh, feeling like you're taken care of, especially emotionally, like somebody is... Um, I always look at this little elephant swimming in this um, milk with honey and feeling like a little baby, like he, he being taken care of, care of by your mom when you are a newborn with this milk especially I don't know why I'm getting this metaphors but overall there is this sweetness and childlike naive innocent pure nature to this connection and again I'm not surprised because the last that's different energy you know very different we, we would have lots of wants we would have lots of masculine proactive um, provocative fiery passionate stuff here and most of the cards seem to be more hearty, more emotional, more kind. And again, pleasure, yes, you both experienced a lot of ple pleasure in this connection. And there's, I feel like, still potential for it. But it's more so like basking in the sweetness, in cuddling, in holding hands, in like rubbing each other's backs when... Um, like when you feel the other person is uncomfortable or anxious or worried about something, patting them on the back, kisses on the cheek, that kind of thing. More so tender and affectionate rather than passionate and seductive. Then we've got this card, Angel of Balance. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, again, with this Angel of Balance, I'm getting a Libra energy, seventh house, Venus stuff. Again, partnership, union, balance, harmony. I feel like all you wanted to achieve here is exactly that, committed relationship, possibly even marriage here. And maybe this is something that was lacking in this connection. Balance, equal give and take possibly, or being on the same page about the practicalities of life. Hmm. Let's see. We also have this card invisible. Look at this. To be honest, I feel like you guys have invested a, long, a lot into this connection. A lot of you, a lot of your heart, a lot of your kindness, a lot of your... You're a very empathetic, very compassionate person and you've been giving and giving and giving, putting and putting into them, into this connection. Um, helping this person out somehow, hyping them up, making them feel taken care of with the service clarifying the Eight of Cups, I feel like at one point you just realize that all of your efforts, all of your investment just slide through. They, they, they are not unnoticed, but not appreciated enough. You are not receiving the same, the, the equal involvement from the other person, the equal, equal compensation. Like 50-50, this is not 50-50. I'm doing so much here while the other person is maybe given f empty promises or maybe just, um, yeah, for some reason I'm getting this feeling of in five years maybe we'll 
move in together. Maybe we'll get married. Maybe, um, I don't know, I'm be, I will be ready to commit. There is just this feeling that this person truly had feelings for you, was truly emotionally connected to you, but you didn't see uh, manifestations of that in real life, in 3D. Nothing was happening much practically, and that is very frustrating. While you were doing a lot for them, like while you were rooting for them all the way, while you were uh, taking care of, of their needs, um, holding space for them, nurturing them. Again, there's this disappointment and feeling invisible, feeling taken um, like you are taken for granted. Mm. And then look at this, we also have this card, card, release your ex. And it says, the time has come to clear your energy. Hmm. Yeah. And it's not easy. I feel like it's not easy, especially um, in this case where you've been so heart to heart, bonded with them, so emotionally connected, like we are one. We would always be important for each other. We would always have a special place in each other's hearts for each other. There's this regret. I could see what this could have been, but never was with this Five of Cups and House. This is why it's so difficult to release this. And possibly you, you are trying to do this at this point. Possibly it's something you know would be a good uh, step for you, next step for you, that will help you heal, move on, distract yourself some, somehow. And then what's interesting, we also have this card Fertility, which is like the Empress card in traditional tarot. And it's all about self-love, self-value, loving yourself just as much as you love somebody else, um, not putting yourself down, making sure you are your own pri priority, your future, your abundance, your prosperity, your craft, your growth, your career, your success, expanding all of it forgiving what's still hurting you, what's still m making you feel heavy. Yeah, with this uh, heart chakra being emphasized in this card, I do feel like you're, you will always have a lot of love in your heart for this person. And I feel like the same goes for them in regards to you. But at this time, I feel that it's important for you to focus on your life, on living your best life, on knowing who you are, not settling for less, continuing growing, um, yeah, self-love all the way, completely, fully, giving to yourself as much as you give to others. Because now I feel like you are in the period of your life where you've gone, gone through all of these lessons, gone through all of this, uh, all of this illumination, understanding and experiences. And you, whatever you touch at this point is going to grow, expand and bloom. Your career, your health, your friendships, family matters. And uh, quite honestly, I feel like you guys are ready for kids at this point. You guys are ready for family. We've got so many indications for family and children here with the Six of Cups house. Um, all of the stable, traditional, um, conventional things, I guess. You are ready for those. You are ready. Let's get some more cards. Let's get one from this deck, pile one. What do you have to know about this connection with your person? Yeah, look at this, This like a summary of this whole reading, um, the energy I was talking about. We've got this card responsibility. Yeah, earthly, down to earth, practical, possibly material um, things. This is where this connection is like an Achilles heel for this connection, a weak point. And I'm going to read you the message at the back of it. So it's the card responsibility. It says, do what feels right for you above all else. It is impossible to please all parties in the present situation. You have responsibility only for your own life and actions. Others must take responsibility for themselves. 
Yeah, you've got a very motherly nature about you, very motherly soothing energy about you. And I feel like it's easy for you to turn into a giver immediately when you love somebody, to <clears throat> overgive, to make sure that the other person is warm, is cozy, is happy, all of their needs are being taken care of. But uh, when yeah when are your needs are going to be taken care of basically that's the question i have in my mind because you deserve that no less than others you deserve to be loved and taken care of and supported as well especially again you guys i feel like you are you are all along somebody who was ready to take your part of things whoever you are if you're a man then you were ready to i don't know to court the person to help financially possibly if you are in the traditional kind of relationship if you're a woman you were ready to have kids to have family to take care of home whatever it is whatever your standards or beliefs are about relationships you were ready to do your stuff your side of things while the other person again as it says others must take responsibility for themselves i don't feel like this person was ready for one reason or another it could have been money that they were struggling in especially if it's a man career problems maybe they were in the state of luck maybe their living situation wasn't good and it's almost you guys i'm so sorry <laughs> got distracted for a second somebody uh called me but yeah this i feel like this is the problem the feelings are good the emotions are good um your heart was in the right place and theirs as well but the way you see responsibilities in relationships the way you see um maybe even things about living together doing the chores it could be as simple as that this is where things are getting heated and confusing and uncomfortable and you are not on the same page maybe who's gonna pay in the restaurant i don't know it could be just again with this money in the middle of your region with the service this house again responsibilities duties practicalities of life that's where the problem lies yeah that's where the problems lies lie um let's get some more cards you guys Pile one, what do you have to know about this connection with your person? we've got here is past life love oh my gosh i knew it i kept looking at the six of cups and i wanted to say it but then i was like oh it's such a cliche um past life uh, anyway and it says your soul remembers the intense connection yeah as i was feeling like i knew you for, I, i've known you for years i know what you're about to say i know what you're feeling i know where your mind is where your heart is right now i can see it in your face that's so telepathic connection Mm -hmm. and again maybe this is why it was so so hard to move on to let go feels like losing your limb <laughs> basically same feeling losing losing your limb losing your house losing something in that like you know so well every nook and corner then we've got this card leap of faith and it says it's safe to make the move you are considering so whatever you came to this reading for maybe you had a thought in your mind to for some of you it would be to move on to end this connection and get closure for others maybe you've been planning to reach out to this person and explain something uh, to call them to communicate whatever your decision was or hunch was about this person this is a confirmation that it's safe for you to do so listen to your intuition and then we've got this card obstacles and it says unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement absolutely and for you i feel like it's something in regards to feeling unlovable just as you are 
like wanting to do something for another person so they notice you so you're not invisible for them so that you are valuable for them wanting to love bomb wanting to uh, babysit their emotions take care of them emotionally uh, nourish them, them somehow i feel like this is the main wound that has been triggered by this connection becoming so emotionally invested almost to the point of forgetting yourself neglecting yourself and that's a very loud plane you guys i'm so sorry if it's distracting you and at the bottom of the deck we have this message addiction and it says an addiction is affecting this relationship and again it could be anything for your person it could be an addiction to some other aspect of their life maybe their career maybe their uh, friends but more so i feel like it's something not related to other people it's maybe money or career or something like that so yeah i want to get an advice for you guys i don't want to leave you like that an advice for you pile one in regards to this connection what should you do And we've got this card light, which is so beautiful, the imagery on it, the colors. And it says, imagine yourself as a being composed of energy and light, because in reality that's precisely what you are. You are a powerful being and people are attracted to your brilliance. This is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are. Yes, especially, remember we had this card invisible. It's almost like this connection change you in this really sad way and it's sad for me because this is not who you are you used to be so vibrant you used to be so happy and sunny and positive and we've got this five of cups that's where this connection has gotten you which is uh, again normal to mourn things to grieve things but uh, it's important to remember your light to turn to your light now at this uh, period in your life this is a time to remember how vibrant you truly are yeah and with this fertility card the empress energy with her heart chakra being illuminated with trees growing from her hair very vibrant card i don't think my ca my camera might make it darker than it is but it's very light a lot of feminine energy here a lot of creative inspired feeling i'm getting from you mm -hmm powerful powerful and definitely self-love self-love is very important right now for you guys so this is all i have for you i hope this reading was helpful i hope it gave you the clarity that you needed the answers that you needed and i wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and i will see you in my next video bye bye hello my beautiful pile number two or everybody who chose the seashell let's see is this love or lust between you and your person and we've got the knight of cups servant ten of wands friend the hierophant and wife Oh wow. What is it today with all of the love? It's the second pile that I'm turning towards love more so than lust. Of course I, I will not I don't wanna deny that I'm sure there is physical attraction between you and your person. Um there is chemistry but love is stronger. This is love for sure. And not just love, this is this wanting the best for another person seeing them as your best friend somebody that you will always root for somebody that you will always uh, help if they call you at 4 a.m in the morning and you need to drive i don't know six hours to see them and help them whatever it is there is this genuine concern for the other person's well-being and happiness and life overall so beautiful so wonderful 
And again, I do feel like it started with a whole lot of love. If, if initially, in, from the very beginning, it's not so much we were getting to know each other and then with time it progressed. No, <laughs> we literally opened your reading with this Knight of Cups. And I do sense that there was this desire. It's such a loud plane, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm close to the airport and not much I can do. Cannot close the sky. <laughs> So this, this feeling of wanting to give as much love, as much emotional kindness, support, to speak about your feelings, to express them. I don't see any holding back here with the Servant and Knight of Cups. I feel like the confessions were right away, very fast. I love you, I'm into you, I'm enjoying your being, your presence on this earth. I want you to feel how loved you are by me, how much I care about you. A lot of affection, a lot of really beautiful, uh, gentle, kind gestures and words that have been said and exchanged between the two of you. Honestly wanting another person to feel taken care of, to feel loved, to feel um, a lot of romance I'm sensing here, a lot of romance and wanting to emotionally give as much as you can and I see it on the both sides I feel like you talk about your feelings about each other a lot or used to at least at least to discuss them to very verbal very verbal this connection is to me and in practical ways I do see you trying to help each other out maybe cooking for each other maybe like making drinks because in this card so you've got this knight of cups carrying a, a cup um, a glass and in the servant this girl is carrying a tray with drinks so interesting. Maybe literally you would make teas for each other or coffee in the morning or drinks on weekends, like cocktails or something like that. Um, cooking nice dishes, for example, nice dinners or snacks together or just this nourishment, support, love, kindness and wanting to make another person feel loved to the fullest, to the maximum. I see it very strongly here on both ends again. It's not something one-sided at all. What's happening now, you guys? There is this feeling of hardship in this connection, of struggling, of uh, difficult, rough, rough part of your journey together, very rough. Somebody here is feeling like things got a bit too difficult, like there needs to be sorting out of the problem or problems in this connection and I feel I feel like this connection it's almost like you, you you got distant from each other for one reason or another by life by circumstances it feels more so that, that this connection is platonic at this platonic yeah like friendly more so friendly maybe one of you have decided that it's better for now to stay friends or better for now to take a break from this connection. With this Ten of Wands, somebody is not happy about it. Somebody here is not happy about only being friends or only having this status and this connection, whatever it is. Because they want more. They want more. There is this feeling like, ah, it's pointless. Why are we doing this? Why are we detaching from each other? Why? our love was so beautiful it was so beautiful why are we pretending that we are not feeling it anymore that yeah just it feels heavy at this point something needs to be resolved something needs to be fixed here because oh my gosh you guys because there is a potential for a family here you both know it even if you guys try to deny it or maybe with the state of things that this connection is in right now with the situation you're going through maybe misunderstandings of some sort maybe just life circumstances separating you you might feel like oh no way no way we are like regressing backwards we nothing's out there for us in the future oh you wait <laughs> you wait because we've got this hierophant and wife what a combination what a combination. I swear, you guys, I was shuffling like crazy for this pile. I got tired. <laughs> but this is, these are the cards that I pulled eventually, not knowing. I swear. 
And to pull this con this combination, the Hierophant is all about vows, is all about um, getting married. If you're looking at the relationship, it's all about higher commitment, high level commitment. It's all about um, promising to stay with each other till death parts us. <laughs> is that what people say? I think so in English. And clarified by wife, yeah, spouse energy. Very much a powerful potential for building a family here in the future. You both know it. You both want it. I feel deep inside of you. It feels logical. It feels right. Loving each other so much. Having only best um, intentions for each other. Only having um, wishing best for each other. It, it would be only logical to do this thing called life together. And again, is it love or is it lust? I'm sure there is attraction, I'm, I'm sure there is passion, but there is, it is love. It is love, and we, what's more, it's a grounded type of love. It's something that could very well lead to a family, and I feel like it is. I feel like it is leading there. And it's not a surprise for you guys. I want to look at the bottom of your deck to see the background story for you guys. <laughs> We've got the Ace of Cups. <laughs> oh my gosh. Emotions, emotions overflowing. Affection, kindness, love, inspiration. True love. I, would, I wouldn't be even, I wouldn't even hesitate, hesitate to call this true love. True love. Let's look at your Oracle cards. Mm. Yeah, there is some kind of compromise that is happening right now here. Let's start from the first card. It's the card Risk. It's the card Risk. I do feel like there is a potential to start over here or at least to uh, get on the same level, to take a, this leap of faith, maybe to give this another go, another chance. Almost like both of you want it, but there's this hesitation or feeling like it's a huge risk. Um, this could hurt a lot if it fails, if this is not, if it's not going to work out. But again, I do feel like it's, it's a, something very desirable for, for the both of you to try again to, to, to make that jump. Because again, somehow, for one reason or another, I'm not sure why you are pulling back right now. This, like you're being put, uh, taken apart by life, by circumstances, or somebody here have decided the best we can do is friendship. For now, friendship would be the best option, or um, keeping this connection not so serious. I don't want to say serious, but... Even though you're ready to, to go to the next level, even though you're ready to take this higher, <laughs> with this higher front, maybe fear, maybe this is what it is. Then we've got this card, flexible. Again, almost like on the verge, on the verge. One day we are totally in love, another day we are like buddies, like we are friends. And going back and forth, back and forth in this dynamic or status of this relationship. And I do feel like uh, somebody here, it might be your person that is trying to be compromising, to compromise, to see two sides of things, to, to be understanding basically. Because I feel like one of you here is quite temperamental or quite has difficulties with making decisions and sticking to them. Like maybe mood swings, that's what it is. I'm getting Gemini energy for some reason, like Pisces as well, mutable signs, Sagittarius. And another person is much more stable. It's like, this is what I want. And this is, I'm sure we have a future here. We can make it happen. It's the real deal. I want a family with you. I want marriage with you. I want commitment. And another person is like, ah, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't hurry, but maybe we shouldn't do it. What if? What if this happens? Um, yeah. We also have this card, Seventh Chakra or Kindle Uriel. It's all about um, crown chakra, chakra, connection to source, to 
And what is source? It's love, the energy of love, unconditional love. And I feel like this connection, this relationship has given the both of you the glimpse of where we came from. The source energy of love, of the unconditional love that we are both meant to be feeling all the time, but 3D reality, we forget what it's like. We, our mind takes over most of the time and body, but that's the point, getting the lessons and then going back, back home. Yeah, definitely a very spiritual bond, very filled with love, with purity, with um, kindness and just, I feel like it also expanded your spiritual awareness, your uh, consciousness connection to spirit, connection to maybe religion, if you are religious people, so people again, f with this hierophant, powerful major arcana, it does feel like something more. This connection is bigger, it's more sacred, it's more powerful than anything else I've experienced so far, and probably will ever experience. We also got this card, Retreat, and it says, it's time to disconnect from the world. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's cozy. This connection is very cozy with this Knight of Cups servant. Maybe you, you, you had a tendency to spend time together and completely detach from society, friends, work, family, and just be on your own, the two of you in your cozy nook, um, watching movies, talking uh, about things, maybe spending time with time in nature, not, um, connecting, not communicating with the world as much. And it felt very natural. I feel like it's very natural for the two of you to get secluded, to be in your own um, dream world, in your magical, loving space that you both create. And then we have this card, suffering in silence. Yeah, as I was feeling, somebody here is not happy with the state of things in your connection at all. There is a lot of stress here, there is a lot of anxiety here, fears about the future, not being happy with the status of this connection, with how far you are possibly, how emotionally or physically, with this ten of wands, it's like it's a burden, it, something needs to be solved here, there is a problem. Maybe it's related to work as well, to um, down-to-earth practical things. But there is a lot of anxiety that somebody is experiencing and they're not voicing it for, for some reason. They're not speaking about it, not sharing how they feel. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so sorry. I'm getting distracted for all of the piles today. It's either somebody calls me or Pichinka needs attention or people come over. What is it? What is happening? Not Mercury retrograde. <sighs> yeah, pile two. What do you have to know? about your connection with your person right now. <laughs> Look at this. And finally, we've got this card, Passion. Look at all of this red color, uh, this imagery. So we got there, we got there. I was sure there is chemistry here, there is attraction here. <sighs> And you, you know what, you guys, the first word that the message on this card is, uh, starts with, is love. <laughs> Even though this is a passion card, it starts with the word love. So I feel like it's both. Your case is both lust and love. And it's like the best, the best combination. And I'm not surprised that this connection has all of the potential to lead to a family, to marriage, because that's how it happens. You've got to have both to make sure that the connection lasts, that it's um, for life. And it says, love, sexual energy, passions aroused, vital life force, kundalini, the sun, giver of love, of life, strength, a gift, new infusion of energy, something beyond your control, surrender. <laughs> Beautiful, yeah. I do feel like this passion and this love will always be felt between the two of you throughout the years, um, later in life, even if, well, life is difficult, life is interesting, I should say, and uh, anything can happen, but I feel like regardless of whether this leads, you will always love each other, 
and again, I do sense that there is a potential of taking this connection to a new level, to a stable, committed partnership. Let's get some more cards, you guys. Pile two. What do you have to know about this connection with your person? And the first message you've got here is children. And it says children are important to this partnership. I wouldn't even surprised would wouldn't even be surprised if you guys end up having kids at some point. Like look at this card, wife. Or spouse? No, wife. This woman, <laughs> she's holding a kid in her lap. And it's the future position for you guys. Um like this hierophant and being clarified with the wife. For me this is a future part of the spread. So yeah, maybe you already talked about having kids at some point with this person or somebody here in this connection is very excited or planning this for the future even. And then we've got this card, put away the computer. Working less and having more fun will help strengthen your relationship. So definitely somebody here is um, not happy with either their life, the fact that they have to work a lot possibly, tend to their career more than their love life. It's just, again, this discomfort that I was feeling. Like, I'm very worried for the future because now I'm carrying this weight uphill. And I know that this is affecting my connection with you. I don't know why I'm talking in the first person, but that's, that's okay. I know that uh, I'm burdened with things. I know that maybe I'm not too present with you. There's this mm, heavy, heavy feeling from this person. Again, maybe somebody here doesn't have enough time to invest in this connection and that is why you got pulled pulled away a little bit. But I do, do feel that this person is not comfortable with it. Not comfortable. Yeah. And then we've got this card of wait. And it says the timing is not quite right. Again, divine timing, you guys. I do see that at the right time, at the right place, things can evolve into something bigger, into something more serious, real. For now, there is something else that needs to be taken care of. Could be career, could be money, could be living situation, just down to earth things. That is why this connection is not progressing to a new level. But you both know that it can, it can. There is a very good chance for that. And we've got this card longing at the bottom of the deck. It says someone is secretly yearning for you. Yeah, your person. They miss you very much. If you've been um, doubting, if you've been wondering whether they think of you, whether they miss your presence, they definitely miss you. Let's get an advice for you guys. Final advice. Well, to what should you do in regards to your connection with your person? at this we've got this card be proud i'm going to show you the imagery and it says it's time to celebrate all that you've achieved all that you are and all that you will become every once in a while it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud and the way it started with it's time to celebrate i instantly thought of a celebration as in wedding as in marriage as in um you know, you know that kind of atmosphere I'm talking about with this hierophant and this wife. I feel like it's um, the point, you are at the point in this connection that where you've done the, the most hard work, you've done the, you've worked the most hard part and you've done it beautifully, even if now you have regrets or maybe guilt or uh, feel bad about what was in the past, I feel like you can be proud for how, how far you've come with this person, through thick and thin, even if now things are not the best, there's still a lot to be happy about in the future. And again, such a hint here with, um, where was it? It's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Again, pile two. It's just, I don't know, I keep getting this feeling that there is more. 
there are different roles that you will be playing in this connection for each other um, soon. Definitely different roles. I feel like you will always be friends, you will always love each other, but you can also be more here as like spouses, as uh, lifetime partners, as parents of each other's children, even... I wouldn't even shy away from saying that. Beautiful energy. Beautiful. So this is all I have for you, pal, too. I hope this reading was helpful to you. I hope it gave you the clarity that you needed, the answers that you were looking for, answered the answers that you had in your mind. And I hope, I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others. And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye. Hello, my beautiful pile number three, or everybody who chose this pink chalcedony stone. Let's see, is this lust or love between you and your person? And we've got the page of wands, malady, king of cups, falseness, the chariot and soldier hmm pile three there's this strange mixture mixture where in the previous two piles I knew exactly what the connection was here you can never really tell you can never really tell because you're dealing with somebody quite difficult, to be honest. I don't feel like this is a the straightforward person. Um, you know exactly uh, who they are, what they bring to the table, what they want from you. There's this feeling that they are, they can be different. They can be different and you never know which face you're going to get with them, which side of them you're going to get, what they truly feel inside of them. It's very deep, like there's a lot underneath the surface. And let's start from the beginning. I do feel that initially it all started with incredible passion. Incredible passion. And this curiosity, this interest. I feel like even when you noticed each other at the first meeting or however it happened, there's this, I want to know more about them. They are so interesting. Like this enticing, curious, almost exotic. There's something exotic about the other person. F for you, for each other. Maybe you're very different. Maybe you're from different cultures, countries, religions. Maybe you look completely different, like different races. Maybe there is age gap, but almost something taboo or um, something I've never thought I would be attracted to, something I never wanted to explore but I'm so into them I'm so passionate I feel so alive feel so ignited and I feel like it's mostly coming from your person as well like thinking about the other person 24 7 obsession I feel a lot of obsession here and almost like there's this I don't know how to explain it well physical immaturity about them it sounds so strange, not that they are physically mature somehow, but the aspect of sexuality, physical attraction, in this way, for in them, the way you perceive them in this way, it comes a little bit immature. Maybe they have problems with patience, uh, maybe they are timid, but at the same time quite forceful. I don't know how to explain it well. It's such a strange feeling I'm getting. Like they're very curious about you from the very first, from the first day, the day one. But it's, it's, yeah, it's obsession of some kind. Obsession. You guys, I feel like you know exactly what I mean. I just cannot put, put it, it's not coming through. Maybe it's just something I'm not supposed to say here because it's, out there a little bit so yeah um, I feel like it, it will resonate for those of you who it's meant to resonate what I'm trying to convey here in regards to sexuality I'm gonna leave it at that 
Yeah, and also there is there is emotional connection here. But I'm not happy with... We've got this King of Cups in the middle of your spread, but it's clarified with falseness. I'm not happy with this combination and I want to clarify it, you guys, because the King of Cups is all about emotions. It's all about mature emotional expression, about love, deep love. But why do we have this falseness here? Let's see, what is this King of Cups about for Pile 3? There is so much passion here. There is so much passion that this person has for you. Very strong chemistry, very, very strong attraction, but they also want to be reasonable all the time. Like there is this need in them to, to, to stay rational, to hide the darker parts of themselves from you, not show you the monster within, the ugly, the ugly of them for you not to see that face again it's they're either hiding something about them that is kind of taboo or dark or they think you would get scared by it i feel like it might be ringing the bells for some of you who chose this pile if it resonates with you what i've been talking about so far and it's like they're trying to distract themselves from it they're trying to move on they're trying to shift their mental focus and show you a bit distorted image of themselves a bit just because they admire you so much because they respect you so much as a person and we clarified this king of cups with the justice the king of wands and six of swords and at the bottom of the clarifying deck we've got the queen of pentacles you are definitely on a pedestal for them they admire how grounded you are, how nurturing you are, how loving, how abundant you are, how beautiful you are, what kind of life you build for yourself, the type of life you build for yourself. But and they have a lot of passion for you. They are very infatuated by you. But there's something that they don't want you to see about that. Possibly how much they are obsessed with you in that more physical sense. And they are masking it with somebody who is more romantic, who is more ethereal, who is more like an artist, like somebody who would tell you poems, um, create poems for you, create songs for you, all sensual and soft. But in reality, I feel like underneath all of that, they are more raw. They are more, oh my gosh, who are you dealing with? I'm like, uh, I'm getting goosebumps and uh, kind of creepy they are for me. Maybe this person just got a really high libido. They're very, very passionate and it scares them and they're afraid to scare you. So that's why they kind of portray themselves as somebody who's all about higher love, who's all about connection soul to soul with this King of Cups, who's got like unconditional love for every living thing, something like that. But it's not exactly who they are. It's a bit of a fantasy. It's a little bit of a fairy tale. Even though they're very attracted to you, you're very important to them, they admire you tremendously. I'm so sorry you guys, my camera died, so I'm restarting the recording. Going to the future. There's this really strong pull towards you, I don't know why. I feel like for some of you guys, you might be at a distance from each other. You might be away or this person has to come forward, move towards you. And they want to do it, but there's this sort of self-defense about them. There is this suspicious energy that I'm getting. Very individualistic. I want to clarify this just in case. What is this chariot about for pile 3? What is this chariot about for pile 3?
There is this element of surprise that I'm getting from them. They're very spontaneous person. They're very unexpected. You never know that what they're going to come up with. And again, it's coming again. Another instance of that. Another t kind of... <sighs> the same behavior is coming again here. And I kept looking at this chariot when I was getting the clarifying cards and I realized that the chariot is also about taming your beasts. And in this card we've got this driver, or I don't remember the name, like the traditional name, who, who is taming two horses, who is driving in control of two horses, the dark one, the black one, and the white one. And in traditional tarot it's the person who m made, like, found balance between their darker side Exactly what I was talking about throughout this reading, like taboo things, dark obsession, um, jealousy, passion, more raw kind of physical or sexuality, you know. And the lighter side, which is rationality, which is purity, which is um, affection, gentleness, kindness, romantic love. I feel like in the future they will find this balance. They will. And it's almost like they will try to be more careful with this soldier clarifying this energy. More careful. Protecting this balance, protecting this pull toward you. And um, almost like it's my decision. It's my decision. It's what I want. And we clarified the chariot with the high priestess, the tower and three of cups. They will come in again if this, if there is a problem in the situation currently, if you are in a separation, if things are not working out too well, if you are not seeing eye to eye, not talking, this person is storming into your life unexpectedly, out of nowhere, without a word of warning with this high priestess. Um, maybe there was a no contact situation for quite some time, maybe you didn't get any information from them, had no idea what's going on inside of their head, what they want, where they stand with you. I do see them bursting into your life again for good times with the Three of Cups, for reconciliation possibly, for celebration of some sort, for romance, maybe taking you out, enjoying this energy that sh you both experience with each other. They want to feel it again, they want to be with you, they want to have a good time. Why do I feel like you have to be careful with this person? I have no idea. You guys, let me clarify. Let me just, let me see. I'm, I'm nosy today, I know, but what are this person's intentions in regards to you, Pile 3? What are their real intentions? difficult person very difficult and you know it already they've already kind of bruised your bruised your heart a little bit by their behavior by their indecisiveness by their secretive nature something about them is just not straight not oh guys i'm sorry that's just my chair that's how it sounds when i try to make myself comfortable they're very secretive they're very good at poker face good at um doing things underneath the surface like a snake maybe they maybe in reality they want the best for you they want the best for this connection but they never come straight about it they never do things so you you know what their next step is you know what they're bringing to the table it's not the case for them they always got their demons in their head maybe their fears maybe the feeling of inferiority maybe the darker side of them that they're battling and it's affecting this connection, the dynamic in this connection. So we asked about the intentions. We got the Seven of Swords, 
the Three of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like in the past this person really, really got hurt. It's either in this connection by you, somehow, by what happened between the two of you, or by somebody else before you previously. Could be even coming from their childhood. And it's still like a splinter in their heart. It's still hurting. It's still uncomfortable. There's still a little bit of resentment here. Like, mm, you. But they want a new beginning. They still want this. They still want to give it a go. They still want to invest in this with the Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like I'm not going to show you how much you hurt me. Because I like you so much. <laughs> there is this almost like this masochistic nature in them. Just, oh my gosh. Not an easy person to deal with whatsoever. Let's look at the bottom of your deck, you guys, to see the background story. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. Hmm. Again, with this world, I, I do feel like there could be different cultures, maybe distance here, different beliefs, different um, ideas about relationships, long-term commitment as well. Ten of Pentacles, maybe family involvement could be for some of them. Let's look at your oracle cards. <sighs> look at this. Of course, you guys, it's your decision whether you want them or not. Uh, I feel like you know how quirky they are. You know how bizarre they are. You know that they've got their problems, their issues to deal with. But again, I do see that there are feelings here, there is attraction here. And the first card we've got here is Truth Be Told. And it was <clears throat> such a relief for me to see this card after all I've been reading from them. Finally coming, coming clean, coming open, um, taking off that mask, taking all of the pretenses, or kind of prestigious face that they wanted to show you to be something, someone that they are not. Um, hoping that they would that you would admire that image that fantasy I do feel like they're ready to just be themselves march toward you very fast um, jump into your life come forward and communicate something here communicate talk about the needs desires whatever it is about you like heart to heart truth be told yeah then we've got this card beauty. <laughs> Again, for some reason, I do get very sensual, um, aesthetic, maybe artistic energy in this connection. Maybe some of you are artists here. Maybe this person is an artist, or you are, or both of you. This connection just has this essence of... You know the movie I have on my mind? What is it? Eyes, eyes wide shut. Is it the name of it? The title with Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman? Like 90s movie? Or maybe early 2000? I think 90s. It's a crazy movie. It's a mind trip. But it's so beautiful. The art of it. The music. The ceremonies. The clothing. The whole atmosphere. It's quite gothic. But it's beautiful. That's the feeling I'm getting from this connection. Almost like taboo. Dark. Unusual against the grain, unconventional, but artistic. Maybe this person like a director or an actor or a producer or maybe they like a painter or dancer. Just something uh, very out of the ordinary, creative about this whole um, situation between the two of you and the energy in this connection. Nevertheless, there is love. We've got this card, Angel of Love. There is love here. Even though this person, to my taste, <laughs> to me, they're a little bit messed up. But who am I to judge? No one. I'm just telling you how I see it and uh, use your better judgment. There is love here. They're very attracted to you. And again, with the king of cups in the middle of your spread, definitely deep love here. Regardless of how they express it or whether they do even ever, <laughs> there is love here. Your love, affection, heart-to-heart -heart connection. And then, what's more, you guys, we've got this card, True Love. And it says, this is a romance of a lifetime. Oh my gosh. 
And that explains why they've got so much obsession for you, why they're so um, determined to move toward you, to possibly travel or to take those steps to get closer to you. Even though they've been hurt in the past, even though they have their demons that they're battling with, they still want it. They still want you, even though their heart is bleeding a little bit, as we clarified with that Three of Swords. Because they feel that this is a true love. And it might be the case for you as well. You might be feeling the same way. Even though I see that it's not easy for you definitely to deal with somebody like that. Ooh. And then we've got this card, Rest and Rejuvenate. Mm -hmm. It might be that right now you're taking a break from this connection to just calm your mind, to come back to your center, to distract yourself, to meditate on things, to be in nature and not wrapped up in this passion, in this addiction, obsession, very intense high energy of this connection. I need to come back to myself, I need to be in silence, I need to clear my mind, to hear myself basically, not my hormones or my uh, fears in my head or whatever it is. I want to be clear, I want to be rational when things start moving again forward in this connection. Let's get some more cards, you guys. Pile three. What do you have to know about this connection with your person? Yeah, yeah, look at this. We've got this card, free will. Oh my gosh. And it says, the answer to your question is no. Yet remember, you have free will. You are free to make your own decisions. Just remember that you need to take responsibility for any choice you make. Meditate and see what your heart says. Again, with this free will, it's almost like it's your call at this point. The ball is in your court, you guys. Whether you see the future with this person, you see them for who they are, you know the truth, you know the reality of them, you know that they've got the issues, you know that they're strange of a person, and you know that things are not going to be easy, and you are ready to deal with all of that and stick by their side and make it work because you love them, or you feel like it's too much, it's too much, you won't be able to deal with their requirements, to deal with their character, their personality, basically it's your call whether to stay or or to move on, to let go of this. Because I do see them marching, jumping into your life again in the future. There will be some kind of regeneration here, renewal, maybe again and again, like another one, another chance. Yeah, and it's interesting that it also says about responsibility. You need to take responsibility for any choice you make. Meditate and see what your heart says. Remember, we had this for uh, we had this rest and rejuvenate card. Yeah, take your time. Do not hurry. Do not rush the situation because you need to be clear in your head when the opportunity knocks to say yes or to say no. I'm sorry, I cannot invest into this anymore. This is not what I want. This is not my jam, <laughs> not my journey. <laughs> Definitely free will. You've got free will in this situation. You guys, I'm so sorry for the noise. Pichinka is dreaming and she's obviously chasing somebody in her dream. And she's barking throughout her sleep. Pal 3, what do you have to know about your connection with your person? first card we've got here is abundance and it says you've done the work abundance flows to you now mm, yeah look at this it's almost like you, you, you've done all you could do in this connection you've gone through this lesson that it was presenting to you the spiritual lesson um, like learning experience with this person you've done beautifully now it's time for you decide to decide whatever it is that you deserve whatever it is that you want whether it's this person you are ready, you want to stick with them, with them, or you are ready to receive something else. 
we've got this card time apart now and it says some distance will help bring you clarity mm -hmm. i feel like this could be the case right now you being apart not communicating as much um having the time to clear your head and see whether your life is better with them or without them and then we have this card longing and it says someone is secretly yearning for you and i feel like the word yearning is an understatement it should be like being obsessed being torn apart heartbroken because we've got this card the cards like melody soldier page of uh wands chariot completely uh, drawn to you and wanting to be closer wanting to move towards you missing you very much for sure yeah and at the bottom we've got this card obstacles it says unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement and i feel like we talked about those wounds and i feel like they are mainly your persons <sighs> something that that they haven't healed yet or just the, the kind of temperament the kind of personality that they've got Hmm. Let's get an advice for you guys. Final advice. Pile 3. What should you do about your connection with your person? And we've got this card, Just Ask. I'm gonna show you the beautiful imagery on it. We've got hands reaching out like asking for help and then receiving uh, different signs, messages. And it says, there are many here in the spirit world that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are, who are waiting to assist you. We are your spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for our help and guidance. Again, maybe you guys are spiritual, spiritual people, maybe you do tarot yourself, or astrology, or like rituals of devotion, lighting a candle, connecting to your ancestors, to your spirit guides, asking for help, for support. I feel like it's a message here for you to reach out to them and ask for some kind of sign, whether you should be with them or not, whether um, this person is for you or not, what kind of decision you should make, even if you're not that spiritual. Um, for example, when you're going to sleep, when you lie your head on the pillow, ask for a sign in your dream, for an answer, for maybe a certain symbol. If I'm meant to be with this person, show me, show me a rose in my dream, <laughs> with this beauty card, show me a rose in any form, like petals, um, a growing rose, a bud, a little growing plant, whatever it is. And if I'm not supposed to be with them, show me like a, I don't know, a cage or fence, whatever it is, use your intuition, use your imagination and ask for help, ask for uh, signs, direction, because it's going to come, it's going to come for you guys. So this is all I have for you, pile three. I hope this was helpful. I hope it gave you the clarity that you needed, the answers that you needed, and I wish you lots of happiness and lots of love for yourself and for others and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.